How's it going troops? John here back again with another gameplay commentary and I know I've been inactive for about a week, I apologise. There's been a lot of events happening in my personal life right now which is why I haven't been able to uh, to make videos but uh, I am back again with a, another video. And uh, once again we're playing Black Ops, you're probably sick and tired of Black Ops but uh, if you're not then good <laughs> but uh, I've got some other gameplays ready to upload very soon. Uh, we're playing some Team Deathmatch on Grid and you can see I'm playing with James or Infamous in this uh, match and uh, before I get into the gameplay I just want to quickly brief you on an update in regards to my Xbox One so a couple of days ago uh, or should I say let's go all the way back to last week where I sent off my Xbox One to a local repair shop so I sent it in and they said that you know they have they'd be happy to take a look at it see what the issue is and hopefully they can try and resolve the issue uh, and then a couple of days ago I received a phone call from uh, this repair shop and they told me that they might have found the issue with it. They said that what it, it appears that the graphics chip has burnt out and they would have to order a brand new graphics chip to place within the Xbox One and uh, it cost me 80 quid which does seem quite a lot. They aren't really cheap but um, it's worth a shot. You know, If it doesn't work then that's £80 down the drain which I'm going to be a little bit annoyed about but if it does work then you know that's 80 quid well spent in keeping a console alive thank god hopefully but um that's really all I wanted to uh, to brief you on uh, they said that they want uh, they said that they were going to give me a, a phone call by the end of the week to let me know whether it does work and hopefully it does if it doesn't like i said that's going to be quite a lot of money you know that's spent on something that just it just doesn't work which um i will be really annoyed about but uh, fingers crossed eh? i mean there's a lot of games coming up very soon uh, we've got Need for Speed, we've got Black Ops 3, Halo 5, Fallout 4, Star Wars, Battlefront. So you got you got a lot of games coming out this year. And, um, you know, of course it would happen to me at this point during this year when uh, my Xbox One will pack in. But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, everything will be fine, everything will work. And I can get back to playing games on my Xbox One. Uh, moving back into the gameplay, I've just got my Blackbird called it in. And I see a guy coming down the stairs and he's walked outside, come back in. Don't know why, maybe he got a little bit cold. And uh, I get my chopper gunner. Uh, and you can see I'm just waiting for enemies to, to come by because they're spawning where the hangar is, where the closed hangar is. I stunned two guys here and taken both out to land me my dogs. I don't know how I got that second guy, I honestly don't. I mean, bullet penetration or what, but uh, it, managed to, uh, it managed to pay off and get me my dogs. So uh, I'm looking for a spot, we'll get into this uh, office here, and I'll lie down, and oh, look at that, look there, the, the dogs are just going in already. So uh, anyway, I'm calling in this chopper gunner, and uh, right now I'm just mowing them all down, and uh, there was one guy, that you always seem to get this one guy, whether it be a split screener, or just someone that's trying to be a little bit of a team player, but you always seem to come across enemies that try to take it down with a rocket launcher, but uh, luckily for me in this match they don't take it down, although... They do have a couple of attempts to take it down, but it just doesn't work. So as you can see, I'm just you know just taking them all out right now. Um, if they're outside, the chopper gun is going to take uh, care of them. If they're inside, the dogs will take care of them. So they don't really have anywhere to run. And as you can see, <laughs> they're spawning outside the uh, the open hangar. It's just landing me a load of kills. You can just see that kill feed just going to me. And um, you know it feels great the the kill streaks in Black Ops. They do so much work. And um, you know it, it just pays off a lot. It feels great to uh, you know to know that kill streaks actually are fun in this game. So I've ended up with my chopper gun. I believe I think I'm 32, 33 and 0 right now. I can't exactly uh, see, but uh, I am on a very high kill streak right now. And uh, I'm just you know seeing if any enemy uh, any enemies are coming by. Uh, I don't see any enemies, so uh, I decide to do some flanking around the uh, the backfields of a uh, grid. Come across an AFK guy there and take him out, and I believe another guy comes out from around the like the dog kennel side. Um, there he is. <laughs> he was unaware of my my presence, so uh, I move along around uh, around here, and uh, I think I heard someone. I'm not sure. Like if you you can see that I'm just like looking back, like what? Um, I think I heard someone, or that might just be some background noise because I when I'm playing Black Ops, I do tend to uh, have my game volume turned up quite high. Um, as well as have uh, obviously my uh, my mic uh, volume turned up a little bit, you know, so I can communicate with James. And look there, my first death of the match, and it's by a claymore. 
at the top of the stairs. I don't know. I wasn't too mad about it. I had my kill streaks. That was all that matters. But um, but yeah, like I said, I tend to have my game volume quite high up, so that way I can hear people where they're coming from. It it really does help a lot. Headsets are really useful. Um, but uh, I'm pretty sure you already know that, considering that Call of Duty's been out for how many years? <laughs> so uh, I think you already know how useful headsets are. So uh, I think I've died twice now, which, um, you know, it just, I don't know, it didn't bother me too much. That first death didn't really bother me a lot, just because I'm I'm doing so well, the match is nearly over, and that's all that matters, you know, as long as I'm doing well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't really care too much about the deaths, but... Uh, like I said, we're coming very close to the match, and I don't know exactly where the enemies are spawning. Like, uh, you can see that there's a, a spy plane up right now. And there's a, that uh, AFK guy that I, uh, that I killed back in the fields. Um, he spawned back there, and uh, teammates took him out. Toss a frag in the window, don't get a kill. I know they're spawning around the hangar area, and this is where the end of the match happens. I see a guy with the uh, M16 suppressor, um, and uh, I'm, he's just shooting me. I'm, I'm, I'm just ducking and diving. Just to make sure you don't shoot me. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the match. So uh, I believe the final score was 38-2. and two With a 35 kill streak before my first death. Which was quite nice. So if you did enjoy uh, this awesome gameplay. Then uh, do give the video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it a lot. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Then make sure to do so for all of your Call of Duty content. And until the next video. I thank you all for watching. Stay tuned to Troops. And I'll see you in game.